Hi, and welcome to Five on the Farm. Today we're going to talk about my favorite farm craft, and that's hand blowing and painting eggs. I have some examples here of some things that I've done. This one. You can make scenes like this. This is kind of like our farm. Animal prints. Here's an owl. I get a lot of ideas from books and photographs, and a lot of ideas from uh, just sitting out on my own property. I've done quite a few faces like this. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really fairly easy and fun once you get going at it. So you start with an egg. Try to make it a slightly older egg because the shell will be harder and you also want it to be at room temperature. And a regular sewing needle. A decent sized one, not one of the huge ones and certainly not one of the small ones. I put the not sharp end against a table and then push the egg onto it like this slowly so you don't crack the rest of the shell. Now the key to this is what you want to do is basically scramble the shell or scramble the egg on the inside like this with the needle. And it takes a little while. You can see some of the white and some of the yolk start to come out. Now there are a couple of ways that you can actually blow these out. You can put a hole like this in the other end also and then put your mouth on it and blow out the egg and I actually usually do that. I'm not going to this time because I want to show you how to do it this way in case you have to get store-bought eggs. I'm not worried about salmonella so I don't mind blowing out the eggs myself. You can also pick up one of those blue baby syringes and use the same technique that I'm getting ready to show you with this medicine syringe. This is just for medication. There's no needle in it. See how I pulled out the, uh, what's that called? Plunger. And you want to put this right over the hole to make a seal and then push in and add pressure to the... Now you don't want to do it too hard. If you do it too hard, you'll crack the egg. You can see some starting to come out already. I'm going to hold it over this cup. And then egg comes out just like that. Cool, huh? Now you'll have to do this a few times. You might not be able to get out, get out every bit of the egg that way. You might still have to put a hole in and blow. Uh, I'm not the best at that technique, but I just wanted to show you how that can be done. Then you want to take the egg and put it into a mix of, of bleach water or soapy water. Let it sit in there for about 30 minutes to clean, and then you can do this again to pull out the water that's in there. The next step is to take your blown egg. This is how I do it. You can just put, put something onto the egg. This is just a plain brown egg with spots on it. And I didn't paint, put on a base coat on this one either because I wanted to do the face. This one I'm going to show you how to do a base coat. And I'm going to make it something metallic and shiny. It doesn't have to go on very thick. You don't even have to worry about all those lines on it that I'm putting in there. You can do as many coats as you want of this for the, the effect that you want to have. This one is a metallic acrylic by Folk Art. I have quite a few colors of these and they actually work really well. So I'll show you. This is one that I've gotten started on with the red metallic acrylic. All I did was put on blue dots and then I'm putting on little flower lines on the outside like this. I'm doing six of them around each of the dots that I've made. I'm doing a fairly simple one for you so we can try and get this done in five minutes. But you can really make this as complex as you want to. They can be quite ornate. And then once I'm done with all of the flowers, I'm going to take green paint now, now these are the thicker paints that I use. These are not very expensive either. I use I use the Academy Acrylics. They're just just from a Michael's craft store. I'm going to use a flat brush like this to make a to make a line. Dip it in green, and then all I'm going to do is kind of connect like this, and connect the different flowers to give it a little bit more visual interest. Some of these I might just make more of a 
curly Q than a straight line like that. Let's see. Now, once you're done painting your egg, what you're going to want to do is let it dry completely. It does not take all that long. And then put a coat of shellac or varnish on top of the egg. This is this is natural. This is actually shellac is actually made by the lac beetle in Thailand. I think it's Thailand. So it's a completely natural product, but if you want to use a varnish because it's less expensive, you can do that too, and then that will protect it a little bit more. I do that with all of mine. I think the, the shininess on the egg uh, makes it look a lot nicer and more finished too. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. Otherwise, happy painting, and let me know what you've made. Thanks. Have a great day.